Alright, back. We're back. <clears throat> We're back. Sorry for the delay. We're back. It's time once again. This time, it is Whoops Angels F1 team. We're going to do our My Team career. It's going to be <clears throat> Azerbaijan as um, we look to continue that. Of course, we had our driver career on Tuesday. And then now we have our uh, My Team. We were going to do NASCAR tonight, but we got a little bit more time, so we decided let's jump in and, and get into that uh, lovely my team career um <clears throat> and i don't think we're going to do the entire weekend th tonight i think we're going to be able to do you know practice one practice two practice three we'll probably do qualifying one qualifying two and qualifying. we might do the whole race if we if we do get time i haven't decided if we're going to run out practice three very or like do the quick version of it so development upgrades the energy store failed everything else is pretty much gone through the weather looks good it's nice and dry and there you go we're in 16th the team's in ninth for Stappen leads the championship red bull leads the constructors of course and that's where we're at research we have 401 points <coughs> but we got nothing really to use it on um <coughs> so kind of as you were with everything durability very high but the car is not really performing great you can see we're kind of hanging around where the williams is although the williams is just a little bit in front of us alfa romeo is kind of way out in front of us now we do have a rivalry on with antonio joe Benazzi, so trying to out qualify him maybe and get into a position where we can maybe try to level off where we are in this rivalry we're four points back so practice one by John. <clears throat> a track that in the F2 driver career, we had a lot of pace around this track. So we're hoping for more of the same, that's for sure. Let's take a look inside that Alfa Romeo garage. Okay, let's go into car setup. Let's get our, our setup going on. They told you about the new parts that have come in from the factory. So I well, think we're they're all fitted and good to go. I hope they do the trick. Oh, we we didn't change out the ICE. Oh, I forgot to change out the ICE. I had to practice one. Fuck me. Okay, qualifying pace. That'll be tough. <laughs> it's always tough. Uh, fuel management should be good, and uh, race strategy we should be able to get. So. The car setting screen on your multifunction display will allow you to change various uh, settings as you drive. This should be Open okay. the display with the MFD button. <coughs> you can then navigate up and down this to the setting you want to change. So, let's start with the fuel management. Um, the power unit, we are going to have to swap out both. Uh, well, well, just the ICE, I think. This, but, but two parts next race as well. We're going to have to swap out, I think. So, Or maybe even after practice, too. So let's get on to the mediums. Okay, here's something to consider about Baku. Take extra care at the right-hander at turn four yep. and the left at eight that takes you uphill. Both of these are tight corners with deceptive runoffs. It's very easy to miss your breaking point. It's incredibly easy to miss your breaking point. But let's go. Let's have a go. In this program, we want you to focus on fuel-saving technique. Lift and coast through corner entry to save as much as you can while keeping under the minimum lap time. We got to stay under the minimum lap time. We obviously do not have the ability to use our own ERS as well. time <laughs> badly now we need to save fuel badly
we're not really saving a ton of fuel. We're kind of right on the limit. Surprise. Oh, we're seven tenths down. How lovely. We're already another, a whole second down. Surprised we didn't get a track extension warning there. Two seconds down on the lap time. Jeez Louise. And I, I honestly don't know how much improving the, uh, or when we swap out the IC, we'll gain back. Because we are losing power because the IC. So, I mean, it's not to be, I mean, it's going to be a very deceptive there that we, you know, we're, we're losing power because, or that we're, we're slow because of just our pace. I mean, we're slow mainly because of also the IC is shot. That is not a good enough lap, though. That lap was no good. We need you to improve on that. I got all the development boosts, son. That's the important thing. Because those are the ones that I think you, you, you get the chance of. I think you get the 70% of. when you go into the quick practice mode, I mean. Ah, I clipped the wall, of course. Of course I clipped the wall. So. Not the best driver. I will. Admit, I mean, if Monaco didn't prove that, I don't know what whatever will. In all honesty, we're right on that border in terms of the fuel consumption. We are quicker now than we were last lap, but. It's still not great. We're still eight tenths off. I mean, now. Of course, the other problem is I have trouble holding this flat. And I think we're going to really, if we want to make up the time in this lap, we're going to be pressed to. Yeah, and I clipped the wall there. It's, I mean, this this final turn is really... It's trickier, at least in this game, than it looks. Especially on medium tires. We managed to make it flat there. I don't think we're going to catch up enough time. We've we got to hope that the DRS does it for us. I think we're going to just be slow. Yeah, okay, eight tenths. You weren't quite good enough that lap. Try again. Oh, we spun. We're really going to push this lap, obviously, with the time. But we got to be careful with the fuel. I, I mean, honestly, the big thing now is just, at some point, just get a green lap. Let, let, forget the purple lap, right? Just get a green lap in. Get a green lap in and uh, take some of the work that you have to do in the quick practice session that you're going to do in P3 off the table, right? Because you still have two. I've jacked the bow for those corners up. So the chicane is. Uh, that's turn four. That's kind of tricky. That was the tricky breaking zone he talked about, but this is. A lot trickier. I clipped the wall again. It's just a lot harder. We 
lost way too much time going out that section. Or out that corner at least. No, I lost too much. I lost the rear end. And then one corner of the track, mind you, that you don't want to lose the rear end in. I mean, turn. And then, of course, I lose it in the turn prior to that. Turn, turn, um, turn eight is completely unforgiving, both in the game and in real life, so. Oh, that's a lot of time lost. Start down the hill, we'll gain some of it back. That's the eSports corner. We gotta basically take this section flat again. And we need to conserve fuel. I think we're just in the red. So I think we're gonna get there on time. And I just kicked it over into green, so... We didn't really get the data Ooh. we needed on that run. You might want to give it another go. We didn't get it. I thought we got it. We didn't get it. Can we rewind? Okay. We still didn't get it. Interesting. As you can see, I'm coasting. I'm not full. I was too slow there. I just kicked over too slow. I feel like we can get it this lap. I just need to... Uh... Well, program over. But that wasn't much help to us. Interesting. We need it again, I'm afraid. Let's go back to the garage. We didn't get it. I'm surprised we didn't, we didn't get it in one of the three laps. But... We didn't get it, apparently. <clears throat> um, let's move over to qualifying pace, which <laughs> I can tell you right now, we ain't clap. <laughs> We're just trying to get some of the development boost done. There's no way we've got the speed. Even though, <clears throat> in the Formula 2 uh, career... Okay, this is a quality ready. sim. We've <laughs> he wasn't the ready! Our closest uh, even we'll though, even so though in, um, to beat. in the F2 season, I had a lot of pace around here compared to the other cars, compared to any other track I had raced at at the time. I just don't think we're good. Quality is so difficult. I mean, they want a 142. Who's even heard of that around Bach here, really? It's just... I mean, it's just, I can take these corners flat, or, you know, like, perfect, and I'm just going to lose time. Like, Polystim is just incredibly difficult. Too much curve there on the inside. It lost the car. The car bounced, and it didn't grip right away. A second and a half down. It's to be expected. Two seconds down now. The car just doesn't have the straight line speed. Really, the acceleration out of the corners. I, hello? Hello. Thank you for the follow. So, I just want to see if we can get the speed trap. Although I don't even think we're going to get that. No, we didn't. We didn't get that. So, 
when she says her parents are. We have an what intel program about? targets. Come in and take a look at the data, and if we have time, we'll rerun the program. What are you, what are you talking about? Uh, a Humvee? Speed Demon, nice. <laughs> oh man. So we didn't get any. We didn't get anything. <laughs> we didn't get anything in that in that session. Oh man, what a mess. So we're gonna we're gonna do the race strategy. We're gonna hope we can get everything done in the race strategy. And then we're probably gonna swap the ICE out. Wish you could see the Nintendo Switch. I mean the steering wheel. It's not the okay, Switch. Okay, we need a few solid laps here oh, to help no, us calculate the, the Wii. race strategy. <clears throat> Remember driving the the Wii the Wii remote wheel like bruh. People were like using that shit for Mario Kart. I'm like bruh. The funniest thing is, the Wii's got to be the only console I know of, right? Where they were like, you can you can buy like a classic controller, like if you use that SNES feel, <clears throat> or you can use a GameCube controller, or you can just you know use our brand new Wii remote. And it's the only console I know of. Nintendo used to be the apple of gaming consoles. Wii was ahead of its time. Look, Wii was nice console. But it's the only one, it's the only console that I know of, right? That basically they tell everybody, oh yeah, if you need, if you have an old controller from an older console, you can totally use that as well. And fucking nobody used the Wii remotes. Like, everybody used a GameCube controller or something else, you know? I am fucking slow. I mean, I'm worried about this Delta. I'm 0.8 down, and this is... This is the race strategy I'm down on. These are not usually the tests that I fail at race track. Oh me, I mean I used the controller. Everybody did. Also being able to play your GameCube games. Yeah, that's true. I've, that's why I liked about early. Oh, I shifted in the first gear for no reason, and I lost the rear end. Um, that's what I liked about the early PS3s. You remember the early PS3s were completely backwards compatible, and then everybody bitched because they were like five, six hundred dollars at the time, and so they made it not backwards compatible. But they made a non-backwards compatible version. It was like two fifty. Just for that once in a while nostalgia. I know, right? Like that was... <clears throat> I thought about getting a USB adapter and using Dolphin to play some GameCube games. That's fine. I just... That's the part of Nintendo I'm not in love with is how they treat kind of like their retro gaming community, I guess you could say. And how they treat emulating community. Uh, it's that too slow. No good. We need you to improve on that. I just don't. I don't know why the the tire the tire slid there. The tires had a big slide going into turn two. <clears throat> Never owned a TV too, so really. I mean, you're not missing much. Really. If I wasn't a big sports lover, I wouldn't even have, like, satellite or anything like that. And I would have no need for a TV. I fucked that up. I fucked all that up. Most of the time, would would need to mount it. Yeah, my partners haven't really allowed for it. Never invested in it. Really, you had a PS4 but sold it. You've completely gone away from consoles. Same here. I'm not even. I don't. I haven't touched the con. The 360 was my last console, but I can do just everything on the computer. So exactly, the 360 was my last console. I didn't. I really didn't have. Uh, after the 360, I didn't. I just kind of went PC only.
But the adapters aren't that expensive. Yeah, that's true. That's very true. Oof. I don't know how usable the emulators are. Ah, uh, I don't know. It's weird you talked about it because I used to play a lot of them, and I haven't played a ton of them recently. And just last night I was playing Project 64. I might green this lap. I might green this lap. Yeah, this lap should be good. So there's one. Okay, super job so far. We're getting great data. Stay focused. I really had a... Ness was busted in that game. Yeah. Wait, Smash 64, Hyrule Tempo. How are you going to say Ness was busted in that game, bro? Because I'll tell you who was busted in that game. That was Kirby, man. Because I used to own some bitches in the Kirby, man. Kirby was right now. Yeah, you've nailed what we That's down an A. Keep it up. He shared it with Fox, but that shit was so powerful. Kirby is solid. Yeah, Kirby that down an A in the original Smash, bro. An OG Smash. Can't fuck with it, man. It'll punish you. Low this lap compared to the other lap. The target did get harder, but even so. I got time to find. That wasn't bad, actually. That was pretty good. Yeah, man. Kirby all day for me. But GameCube, I was a Roy player. I was a... Uh, ah, I smacked the wall. Roy was my boy, man. Was this... I smacked the wall here, right? Yeah. You were a Falco player? Man! You guys are all the same, man. Fox, Falco, Captain Falcon. That's the only thing I didn't like about Melee Net, man. Like, the competitive scene? That's all it is. Fox, Falco, I completely jacked up all that corner. Fox, Falco, uh, Captain Falcon. You don't see a lot of variety in Melee. Ganondorf mains built different, that's true. Good Ganondorf main is fucking beat your ass, man. Good Ganondorf main is uh, tough because he does so much damage. Alright, we're turning off the thing, but we're going to be alright here. I'll need charge. I'm down to 9% on my ERS. But that's two. I need to get this lap in a row. Okay, super and that'll, so that'll far. pass the uh, data. Stay race strategy. I also, also play... And Ah, I spun. I used to also play, and in uh, the Wii version, and Brawl, uh, I used to play Game & Watch, man. I completely missed the breaking zone. That that was going to be a wrecked car there. Ah, oh, how'd I just smack the wall? Fuck me. With the story mode, is it? I was, oh yeah, I was a huge fan of Brawl. I mean, it was sick. I like Brawl too. I, I feel like Brawl didn't get enough credit. I feel like the general Smash community don't, don't like Brawl as much. And I don't know why. Because to me, the game was fine. I thought it was fun. I remember playing a friend 
in Smash or in Brawl. Now we would have like three stock live no item fights and they would go fucking like 15 minutes, mate. They would be like fucking epic brawls. Like right now. What's up? I think it's generation thing too. Brawl revamped a lot of the mechanics. That's true. What's up, Fox Sun? How you doing? Oh man, I'm fucking wrecked that Are shit. Are you okay? That was a big one. Confirm you're okay, please. I need to just remove first gear from the car. That's because every time I get in trouble, it's because I've accidentally downshifted. I heard some of the Smash movies really enjoying the new Nickelodeon game, y'all. It's fucking catered to them, that's for sure. So, I'm not a big fan of Ultimate. Finally, I don't know. Smash, Smash has been good over the years. It's too serious now. I, I used to just play it pick up with friends. I used to play it at conventions and tournaments. Like now, it's like people people do so much crazy shit in Smash. It's like I can't even keep up. I'm a very casual player. I I don't own a Wii U, so. I don't even have Ultimate, but I wouldn't play it, and I probably won't buy a Wii U anytime soon, so. This motherfucker's just gonna challenge the, up on the inside of me. Like, I'm not in the middle of a racing run. Like, bitch, please. I spun his ass out. FAA, don't look this way, bro. I don't know. I, I'm I'm kind of. It's all right. At least at least the freaking. Great map. You've nailed what we asked for. Keep it up. At least the freaking race. Uh, race strategy uh, practice program is complete. I would smack the wall every time. Not even a gamer. I know. Not even a gamer. I don't. I don't have. Sm I Wii U. I'm not a gamer. It's, but still. Um, I like Melee, I like Brawl a lot, and I like OG Smash, but, I don't know, I'm too much of a casual player to enjoy it nowadays, so. I just kept it out of the wall, but we lost a fuck ton of time. So, anyway. So many friendships put to the test in the old days of playing them. Yo, I was the loudest motherfucker in the room when I used to play him, bro. I used to fucking... I used to, I used to scream the shit like Hammer of Justice as I played DDD. By, by the way, Brawl? I was a big DDD player as well. I used to charge up that over and smash and just scream hammer adjusted when someone got it right in the face, man. Because that's how you know, man. That shit's like... Imagine an ace attorney, but like, he's in brawl. He's in smash. That was King DDD, man. Before, before ace attorney rolled up, man, he was the guy. He had the giant gavel. I'm completely going to miss the, the target time this lap. I, I actually screamed so much <clears throat> one year at a convention playing Smash all weekend. I came back Monday with no voice. I had no voice. Program complete and a job well done. We got some excellent data with that run, so come on back to the garage and I can talk you through the numbers. Oh, I didn't mean instant replay. Shit, no. I meant to fucking return to garage. Thank you. Yeah, I came back with no voice, man. I sounded like Mickey. I was walking around like, oh, boo. Because I had no voice. I shouted that much that weekend. 29 minutes left, and we are going to swap out the power unit. So the ICE here is pretty worn, you can see, 72%. Actually, we should probably swap it out after P2, after practice 2. We're P18. Best lap so far is three tenths one slower than 45. our two. Three tenths quicker than Vettel. My only concern is uh, 
all the teams that we are, all the drivers were quicker than right now are on the harder compound of tire. So we're pretty fucking slow. I just got to admit, we just need the, the we need the um, improvements to come in on the car, really. We have a lot scheduled before France, so I think that's the We're 19th the big thing. in the speed trap, 195.8 miles per hour. I'm going to put the softs on and go out there for the fuel management one. I think we'll run the fuel management one. We're trying to get trying to get just a green lap and take the pressure off of practice three, which is going to be us trying to run the uh, trying to send the practice programs again. So. I'm trying to think of what other games were like that, man. Because that, and probably like, I don't want to say old Mortal Kombat. Because I didn't really get hyped with a lot of people in the Mortal Kombat community back then. But those games were pretty sick back then. Like, Deadly Alliance through Armageddon, I'd say were like the best ones. Mortal Kombat now, I'm a hard pass that shit. I just missed the wall. But I didn't have a ton of games for the N64, believe it or not. I clipped the wall, so I'm going to give that shit a rewind. I, I think the only games I had for the N64 were Wave Race 64, OG Smash. I fucked up that turn. And, uh... WWF No Mercy. Oh, and Perfect Dark. Oh, come on. That was perfect, except for the spin. Perfect Dark is probably one of my favorite shooters. I spent so much time in that game. It wasn't even funny how much time I spent. I think I ended up... That was the first game I really binged back in the day. I probably had about 13 playing days worth of time in that game. I don't think we're gonna do it. We gotta take this shit flat. We gotta hope DRS gets there. Uh, need to gain three tenths, two tenths, a tenth. Now nah, we're point okay, nine too slower. Quite good enough that lap. Try again. Pretty good first two turns, I gotta say. Just gotta watch the fuel consumption, that's all. Yeah, there's there's no way. Didn't break didn't break well enough. That's almost carbon copy. That's tough. This is a tough practice program. I know that. Ah, I spun it. The inside curve and I spun it. Oh, man. This, this program is kicking my ass, man. You go. Let's 
not bad, but we're losing a lot of time down the straight. That turn, that, that series of turns tends to eat us up a bit. Dive. Infamously right? clanged it into turn eight. Infamously. And I gotta check one thing very quickly. Infamously just obliterate the car in turn eight, of course. Is that? Oh, yes, it's a bot, and I have to ban them. All right, hold on. Slash ban. What is it? L-Y-L-I-T-U-F. Bot. Boom. Gone. See you later. Okay. <clears throat> well, yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah, no. Flashback, bro. <laughs> what are you talking about? I don't know why I even hit that button. But yeah, I mean, those were days. I'm just saying with the Wii, by the way, that like everybody used this, the GameCube controller. Let's just be real. I mean, it was the perfect controller. <laughs> it was it was a pretty awesome controller. So. And I've clanged into that one because I took way Let too much inside okay. curve. So we are pushing way too hard. Way harder than we usually do. We should be able to get this lap. Just eke this back over to the green. That's an acceptable lap, but you're capable of more if you work at it. I mean, not really, bro. Capable of more? How the hell am I capable of more? I barely, barely got that lap good. <laughs> Jeff, don't don't put expectation on me, Jeff. I got a car behind me. Oh, and he's just gonna take my wing off. Like, fuck, <laughs> fuck me, right? He just straight. He just straight come at me disrespecting. What the fuck was that? He had no respect for the car. Man, that turn is so hard. Oh, really? You're just gonna just gonna spin me around like that? He dove up my inside. I don't know who it is behind me, but he dove up my inside, and he spun me. Watch the fuel consumption here. That wasn't a bad turn. <clears throat> I'll tell you what, though. Mario Kart, we want to talk about Mario Kart. I beasted on the Wii version, man. I was a fucking beast in the Wii version. That's Good fuel saving. Complete. We got. This is some decent data, although far from optimal. It could still be worth running again. Yeah, we ain't gonna run it again, Jeff. Fuck that. <laughs> Fuck that. Barely got it done. I had to switch over to softs to get it done. You wanted it done on mediums at first. 
So we, we, we ticked another one off. So, so really, I just don't see a way with these two development boosts that we get this one done. Our best lap so far is a one. I just don't. 145.2. So we're probably going to swap. Uh, we're going to run laps in practice two. Practice two, we're just going to run laps. Brown Baku, that's it, all day. <coughs> um, ooh, the turbocharger starting to go as well. Okay. We're really starting to get some wear and tear. We're taking a lot of ground. I don't know if you guys know this or not. We're going to wind up taking a shit ton of grid penalties this season. There's a lot of teams out on track. Track is looking congested. So, um, gearbox, the practice gearbox is fine. The race gearbox is at 57%. It's got to last two more races. So we're average, we're wearing the gearbox 57 divided by 4, which is what? 14? No, I'm stupid. Yeah, 14. 14.25 per Quick race. Quick note about tires. So that Just would bear leave in mind we have to return the two most worn sets at the end of this session. On this gearbox. They're gone forever at that point, so be careful how and when you use them. At the end of this race. And don't waste any I'm sets that you might need later on. And we would still need to run one more race on it, which you might think at first, oh, it's fine. We'll put you at like 85% at the end of the six races before you get another gear mark. Problem is, you tend to lose gears starting around like 70%. And then we don't really want to be losing We're gears. We're 20th in the speed trap, 195.8 miles per hour. <clears throat> what's going to happen is, see, I put 330 laps on this one. I put 230 laps on this one. This is oh, this is the practice gearbox. So I can order a practice gearbox whenever. Um, that would would put me at the back of the grid. Um, so I think I think what we do is I actually think Baku might be the race we take the grid penalties and we just order an additional part of everything else. I think we just because we got pace. I think we have pace around here. I think what we do is we take every penalty that we can, we order an additional component for all these, and then we just go. And the gearbox probably won't last. I think it'll get better as the season goes along, because obviously we're working on durability, and as we build the parts with durability, um, you know, durability upgrades, we get to a point where the wear and tear is less on them, but I think for right now, we have a big issue with the wear and tear. Because, I mean, four races in, and, and I've blown three three quarters of the ICE. And the turbocharger is getting there. And, I mean, that's a big problem, I think. So, I think what we do is we order everything. Uh, I don't know if we do it this race or next race, though. I mean, the ICE's got to get replaced. And you can replace it without penalty, but I think we go for it. I think we run this setup in Q2, or P2, and then we come into P3 and we just, uh, at the end of, uh, of P2, and we just order brand new components. I think that's what we do. And then we try with the brand new components to get the, the to get uh, these to view done. information on your current levels of tire in wear and P3. damage, press the MFD button to open the multifunction display, and then again left. to cycle to the tires P3 and damage is screen. What? P3 is going to rain? Interesting. It's going to rain in P3. Not for a while, though. Uh, not for a little while. Oh, not towards the end of the session. Uh, between 30 minutes and... Uh, 45 minutes is when the rain starts. So, you, so you have to set If you start dry. to suffer from oversteer, come in and let us have a look <laughs> at the setup. You will get oversteer if the rear tires lose grip before the Shut front. Up, Usually, this will be coming from a lack of rear downforce or an overly stiff rear right. suspension. But a little tweak with Jeff, negative camber or toe right. in can also help with uh, this. Practice two looks pretty dry. And we already got the forecast for the qualifying and the race. So. Uh, tell you what, I am going to simulate through this, and I'm going to go grab some water, because I don't have any water here, and some aspirin. I'll be back.
The session has drawn to a close, so let's review our top three. Norris, Perez and Daniel Ricciardo. And if today's practice is anything to go by, we're in for an exceptional weekend of Formula One. Okay, so we got practice one in the books. Lando Norris quickest in the McLaren. Sergio Perez, I just dropped the phone. Sergio Perez is second, Ricardo third, Hamilton sixth, Verstappen eighth. Where's our rival Antonio Giovinazzi? He has P15 with a 143.6. We only managed a 145 on mediums as our quickest, 145.2, so we were a good 1.6 seconds off the pace. We come in P21, Eyelats P20. We're only ahead of the Williams. Not great. Not great, but we'll see. We know season one is going to be a struggle, right? We know we've already established that with a brand new car and a brand new team with no real development boosts, with no real development anywhere, <clears throat> that it's going to be a struggle. I mean, you can see we have two points, two, two development Two upgrades, I should say, for the aero package, two for the chassis, eight for the powertrain, 13 for the durability. So we're, we're behind the start. We're really, really behind. Now you can see we are the third worst car when it comes to chassis or aerodynamics. Just ahead of Haas and Williams in the chassis department. We're the second worst car just ahead of the Haas. In the powertrain compartment, we are the fifth best car, so pretty much middle of the pack. We're ahead of Ferrari, Alfa Romeo, Red Bull, Haas, Alfa Tari, and Alpine. But we're behind the Mercedes-led, uh, Mercedes-powered, Mercedes Williams, and Aston Martin teams, as well as McLaren. And then in durability, you can see we're third best, only behind Mercedes and Red Bull. But again, we have more parts in development as well so um, we I think we'll get there I think we're definitely gonna get there let's go to practice two though this is where we're gonna really put in the we're really gonna put in the laps in practice two we're just gonna run laps that's it, that's it for 60 minutes get ready we're gonna go on to the Let's go on to the softs. Let's try the softs. And uh, we'll see how they go. So. <clears throat> let's put. We're going to put 30 laps of fuel in the car. Now we're just going to have a. Tire brake and engine temperatures. Press the MFD button to open the multifunction display. That's enough, Jeff. So, probably won't get to the race tonight. We will probably do the race. Uh, it could be tomorrow after our league race. We have a league race. Or I have a league race, I should say. Tomorrow night, that is at Spa. And after that race, uh, we might stream. We might stream the Azerbaijan race. We might be, we might be too tired. That's why we might just go straight to bed and stream that race on Saturday. Wait, who was that? <laughs> Eleanor Leclerc. Nice. What a name. Welcome. Thank you for the follow. Uh, you got me remind. Uh, uh, you got me checking one thing. Oh yeah. Okay. Good. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for the follow. And I think, is that going to be, yep, that's another bot I got to ban before we resume play. I-M-M-A-L-L-Y, Twitch. No, what the hell? Fucking autocorrect on the goddamn phone. I-M-M-A-L-L-Y, Twitch. 
bot. Boop. Gone. <clears throat> but thank you for the follow, uh, Eleanor Leclerc. Underway with our practice session. The the sauce feel good around here. The mediums didn't feel too great though. But having said that, in the previous session we kind of put the fastest lap in on the mediums, believe it or not. So <coughs> we are going to start Baku pretty much from the back of the grid. You can see the wear on the units already isn't ideal, right? It's it's already not optimal. Ah, uh, neither neither is clipping the wall. But yeah, you can see the wear there is pretty bad. It's, I mean, on the ICE, obviously, the turbocharger is getting there. It's it's one of these things where by the time we got to the race, I don't think the IC would last the entire race. I, I think we would risk blowing it in the middle of the race. Woo. Hey, hope you have an amazing stream. Thank you. Appreciate it. <coughs> but yeah, we're probably not going to get to the Azerbaijan race tonight. We'll probably get to it uh, tomorrow or Saturday. And then Saturday also we'll probably pick up our my team career. Or I'm sorry, our driver career. And of course that is in round six and that is Silverstone. So looking forward to that. We finished Spielberg on yesterday. yesterday. Maybe no, on Tuesday. So that was a really good race. If you haven't seen it, um, you can totally catch the VOD. We also will be running reruns like we have on Twitch. So you can definitely check out one of the reruns as well. We've kind of been uh, showing our driver and my team careers thus far. And in fact, i got to actually upload the VOD from Tuesday night. I want to actually, I uploaded it to YouTube. All the videos obviously go up on YouTube. <coughs> but at the same time, uh, if I upload it to Twitch, you get better quality. Because I'm recording in higher quality, so. You'll get a much nicer looking video at least. Freaking clang the wall as I didn't pay attention. Surprised the wheel didn't pop on there. How about that? George Russell going quicker than Charles Leclerc, although it is practice. You don't know what tires everyone's running until you actually get back into the garage and take a look. a whole second quicker, it looks like, than the previous lap. Puts us down to the 146s. Okay, just want to remind you to keep an eye on your tire temperatures, which you can do on the temperature panel of the MFD. We monitor car uh, like temperature Cambridge and surface temperature, and you'll get the best performance when they're both inside a normal Jeff, well, operating window. Well, I pay for surface it. temps tend to fluctuate faster, so try a few laps with the data what open pay, and get a feel for how to control them. Even 
quicker lap. Oh man, this is an even better lap. That esports corner, I gotta say, catches us out, catches us out every once in a while. I'm not really the best at breaking into that. Just like I'm not the best at taking this area flat. But we did. I'm 105.6 through the speed trap. That's first. I'll take it. Another 9 tenths off the best lap. So we're down to the 145 fours. Missed the break. charge up our battery for a few laps here. Nah, come on, mate. Turn. The car just doesn't want to really... Out, I gotta get used to here. Really not that great around Baku. All things considered, the F2 is a much easier car to drive, so to no one's shock, I had pace in the F2 car. And I can't match in the Formula 1 car. Of course, so. My lot is ahead of us by a lot. Wow. He's got a 144-1 on sauce. Where is my lot finding this pace from? I'm not. Unless his, his car is not suffering from the same wear and tear that mine is being plagued by. Which is probably the case. Test just going to slap in a 41 like it's nothing. Of course, Ilot's probably doing a qualifying sim with no fuel. We've got fuel on the car. So, we're probably at or around this pace. I think qualifying. I think we'll be fine for qualifying. But we really don't need to even set a time for qualifying. If you want to save the gear by, although not that like six laps are gonna really make that much of a difference. Like I just don't think that's the case. Oh well, I say six laps, like we're gonna run six laps, we're gonna be out in Q1. We might run three. Behind us, I think that's awesome. Behind us. We're still bottom of the leaderboard here. Schumacher just put in a quicker time than, uh, than Leclerc, but Leclerc is on the marks. Schumacher is on the softs.
careful of the pace around here. We don't, we don't, we don't really have the pace to challenge anybody right now. Maybe not even the Haas. Send to cut that corner. Would, I would brush the wall, wouldn't I? Go up the hill. Caught watching my mirrors. She's in my side here. We didn't plunk, plunk a wall there either, but you might actually have to make the pass straight here. He's got the slipstream. He is gaining. Fucking Schumacher. Are you okay? That was a nasty hit. Turn the engine off and wait for the marshals. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The braking sounds like right there. Oh, man. I thought it was going to be around. Just missed the break, so Annie's T-boned the shit out of me as a result. <laughs> Downshifted way too much. Plunk it, plunk it into these sports car. There we go. Right, we're practice three. We're gonna do the quick qualifying for. We got qualifying one, two, and three still to come. Saturday we're probably going to do a long stream, and then uh, we might, I'm going to reach out to Darn to record our next driver career, or two player career mode race, that's, who 
Portugal, actually. He's probably going to want to spend some time on that track. It's a fun track, man. Portugal is a fun track. I, it's tricky. It'll slap somebody who's not ready for his elevation changes. But it is genuinely a pretty fun track. Although I like this one as well. I like Azerbaijan. I think Azerbaijan's a fun track. Not a race before this, Monaco? That's not a fun track. It really is uh, kind of booty cheeks. <laughs> The more and more I race on, the more and more I hate it. Despite the history and everything else, the beautiful country that it is Monaco, like, the more and more I race on that track, the more I absolutely can't stand that track. out again. Saved it there. Ricardo with a new fastest of the session. Right side tires start to take a beating here. 25 and 26, not bad, but something to keep an eye on for sure. These softs I don't think are gonna last the entire practice session, of course. Keep them smacking the freaking wall. quicker than Stroll and Latifi, but again, they are on the hearts. Uh, it, it, if you don't nail those corners, they will punish the living crap out of you. session so far. Nice. We're like a good almost four seconds slower than that. We are very slow. This is a very slow car. offline because I don't stream it. And I won't. Um, I just completed season two and I managed to keep all the upgrades on the car that were changed to the regulation changes except for one. So now I have a feeling in that season the car is going to start to 
developing at an amazing rate. I'm, I prioritized durability first. The car wasn't great all season long, and it's still not great at the start of season two. But in this one, I'm going to probably do things a little bit differently and not prioritize durability. I'm probably going to prioritize the other departments. Prioritize durability on all like opening questions and stuff. That's why we already have 13 parts of the 29 developed for the department. So now like I'm gonna want to focus on the other other branches, the arrow, the chassis, the things that are actually gonna provide the performance to the car. And then durability just comes along secondary. AI is not too difficult for myself personally. The driver career is on 83, I think. They're not terribly too difficult. I don't have any pace in the wet in a driver career. It doesn't matter to track. I didn't have it in Spielberg. I mean, I barely had it in Spielberg. I definitely didn't have it in Monaco. got silver stones. We'll see how that is. You know the British weather. But in the dry I'm definitely quicker than that. I don't almost ever see the dry. 183, so this is 89. And I'm definitely slower than a lot of them. Ah. Like I said, we have to we have to wait and see. We're gonna run out the whole season under 89, and then if we have to make an adjustment. We will. But also, I'm wondering how much is gonna come as the car develops. So we can get the car to be one of the best developed cars on track, are we going to be able to start competing like we're one of the best developed cars on the track, or are we still going to struggle? Like that's the, the ultimate million dollar question, I guess. I just want to get better in the short term to be able to win this rivalry with Joe Venazzi. Catch or surpass Alfa Romeo, but then also catch the next team, which I want to say is either Alfa Tauri or Aston Martin. That's, that's the hope. These tires are estimated to last 17 laps. It's the start of lap 13. And I think they'll last a little bit longer. 35 on the right is the worst of any tire. I think we'll get to about 19, 20 laps on them and then they'll really be shot. I see where's up to 75. Chargers at 66. Upper staff is at a 141.7. He's now quickest in the session. Yeah, the car didn't really turn very well there. It just. You can see, look at my hands. Look at the hands. Now 
look at the hands down here. She just, she just doesn't respond. That's not totally surprising, but be hotter, and it'll uh, start to be overheating territory. Just gotta be careful. This is like one of the few tracks where the engine is going to be under a lot of stress. Ooh, I ran that one wide. I got, I think, a Ferrari around on my butt. Engine got down to 101, but she's gonna she's gonna heat up here. Let's see. is going to want to make a pass here. Could be an Alfa Romeo as well. I think it's a Ferrari. It is actually an Alfa Romeo. Oh, I spun it. Ah! Oh, of course. That was a terrible restart. I see he's up to 76 now. That is... I wouldn't be surprised if it's at 80 by the end of this session. We are going to run the softs pretty much to the end of their life. And then probably use the last few minutes to swap out the, the parts in the engine. Try not to do anything in this race like I did in the F2 race, and that was overtake going into turn eight. Because <laughs> yes, I did do that. Yes, they they did lose the front wing. I I got away with no damage. I I honestly got away with it, but. Breaking it. We're in the 
dirty air. And we are up to 110 on the engine. Clanged into the back of him like an idiot. I had to look down the inside, but he's just. One thing the Alpha Males do have is a lot of straight line speed. Yeah, be careful. We're up to 111 on the engine 10. Nah, I didn't. I broke. I broke and turned in way too early. Much better. Guys. Okay, Alfred Romeo's are known for straight line speed, so he's got a shit ton of it, that's for sure. And he's just quicker than us. So. Definitely some food for thought. Careful with the front wing. I just clipped the front. I, I thought I had clipped the front wing. I did. I did. You should be feeling the effects of some tire wear soon, so stay on your toes. Wondering what the engine temp has to be for it to get orange, you know, to warn that it's overheating. I'd imagine you wouldn't want it anything above 110. Forty-seven percent on the right tires and less than half the session gone we are in p20 at least color my lot showing some pace that's good So worried about riking in temperatures. I forgot we've got a max battery now. We have got to use it. So here we go. Battery on. Let's get this lap rocking. We didn't beat our time in the speed trap. Our speed in the speed trap, I should say. We're still slower because the tire grip, despite the burnt fuel, now only down to 11.2 laps. Remember, we put 30 laps of fuel in. The tires just don't grip enough 
to get us through the corners at any reasonable pace that comp that's comparable to really the opening seven laps. So. Let's go. 1.4 seconds slower. Ah, tells you everything you need to know there, though, that we're 1.4 seconds slower, really. Try not to push the tires too hard. You're probably losing some grip at this point. Yeah, like everywhere. Everywhere, Jeff. Every corner. Still didn't beat the speed trap. I wonder what we are in the speed trap, actually. I'm just curious. kind of the end of these tires lives we're, we're actually approaching the end of we, we put 30 laps of fuel in, so we only have a third of what we put on left that's something to be mindful of so if it's not the tires that go first it'll be the fuel Section's always tricky. Ooh. I had tacos tonight for dinner, so they are tearing me up. Sit tight, the marshals are on their she way. She got launched. Tight. There you go. Got to take it easy around the corners. But I'm going to run out of ERS. Three, two, one. And I'm out. Back to charging. That's for sure. But it's I do have the game on, right? Yeah, we're good. I actually I kicked this down, it was like 832p or something like that. And I kicked it down to 720 because I was gonna record something in repels which is so old, the max resolution for that game is 720. I just forgot to change it back before I went live. So that's what you're seeing now. I have no idea what it looks like. By the way, I should check to see what it looks like very quickly. I think it looks fine. I think it looks fine. Yeah. <clears throat> so.
Oh, I just fucking... Oh, the Twitch app just crashed on me, bro. Uh, that, the Twitch app. Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's get it back up. There we go. I was going to say the Twitch app just straight up. Kaplunketed. But... Past here. They backed out of it. I need to back out of the. Yeah. Who is it beside me? It's an Aston Martin Vettel. Is it, Vettel? it is Vettel. I'm probably gonna dive bomb him here. Oh, Vettel. Come on, man. Come on, Vettel. Let's, let's rejoin in the I'm gonna dive bombing phase of the, of the fucking... <clears throat> oh. Wow. He's got me this time. But I am going to dive him again. Oh, Vettel, mate. No need to get, no need to get the elbows out. We expect you'll be noticing a bit of grip loss in the tires around now, so just be careful. A little bit of contact in two corners between Vell and I, but we both get away fine. down to fuel though. We only have seven laps left, so these tires lasted a hell of a lot longer than they were estimated to. They were supposed to last 17 laps plus the estimate. And they basically lasted 21 plus the out lap. So and I've generally always done okay with tire wear. Let me know you're okay. There we go. I'm just gonna absolutely clap in the turn eight. Like it's become on radio like I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I'm st I think it was Leclerc. I think that was after he did that. Although I think that was in 20. 2019 maybe? I think that was Sonoda who did that this year. I think that was in qualifying he did that. I don't think it was in the race. Ooh, 
we got real close to that outer wall. We basically gave it the hay once up below. Like, straight millimeters. Lab times, I've been told you. They are not really ripping as well as they used to. power. The ICE is pretty shot that also affects power. I missed the braking zone because I'm fucking around with the views. <laughs> of course. This is the classic customary view though. This is every F1 game uses this. Although for the longest time, when I first started racing, I used this view. But then I then I use this view. And this one's not too bad. Because you're up against the road. But you really don't know how wide your car is. And then you get this view. Which is in this one. It's not in other F1 games. This one's not too bad because you can kind of judge. You kind of get down to the track where you or where you, you know you want to be. Or where that previous view of you used to that previous view of where you wanted it, where you wanted it. Like this is kind of, but you also can gauge kind of the width of your car. There's four laps of fuel remaining. This is kind of the same way. like that. <laughs> We're not about that life yet. <coughs> Standard view. So Jeff came on and said there's four laps of fuel remaining. He's absolutely right. The rear right, mind you, 68%. And still run a few more. 13 minutes left. Probably just pack it up here for five. Probably pack it up for five minutes left. Bring it in. Swap out the components. Take the grid penalties. Wait for the gearbox. Might as well do the gearbox, really. I'm gonna take grid penalties. Big lag spike there. Don't know what happened, but we will again. Oh, 
wow, it's bad. Lag spike is bad. Probably push next lap if we can. 71 on the right rear though. That is getting dangerous here. We're getting dangerously close. It will not be dangerously cheesy. I know that. Whoa, what happened there? That was a massive frame drop. coming. Ah. Just completely overshot that turn. Didn't downshift enough for that one. Yeah, this lap's kind of shot. Kind of like our tires. 73 on the right rear, 70 now on the front, front right as well. Left rear is only at 66. Left front is at 56, so. Let's, uh, Get, oh, I clipped the wall. Of course I did. There we go. That time we managed to not clip the wall. But we're charging up here. Going for a push lap with 2.3 laps of fuel left. We spun it around. Here we go. Absolute slow lap this is going to be because the tires are shot. You can put in the fastest lap, the tires are like 40. 45% and I, I have done so because you know if you're running them especially in stints like this the effect from having burned off that much fuel outweighs the wear that your tires have but it's not like this it's not like when they're 70 plus I mean that just the wear is just too great so alright now that is terrible Jeff's about to tell us that we got no fuel left on board, which is true. Barely have any. We're low on fuel. Box in the next two laps, please. He's going to come back and be like, box this lap. But we are going to box the next lap. Box this lap, please. Box this lap. There he is. When driving with the pit assist disabled, you'll need to be mindful of your speed when entering the pit lane. If you hit the limiter line too fast, you'll pick up a penalty. 
Watch the on-screen prompts that show your target speed and distance to the limiter line. Look at that wear on the tires. <clears throat> we are going to box this lap, though. There's only one lap of fuel remaining. Right, come in at the end of this lap. 27 laps of practice in the books. We just got to fake out, not fake out, do the quick practice. Uh, quick practice three. And then we're on to qualifying. We also got to change all the engine components, and I went in in second gear instead of third. And that's what happens when you do do that. You lose the rear end. Definitely need to go up. The I lost the rear end anyway. It was in third gear. Are you okay? That was a big one. Confirm lost you're okay, the rear please. End anyway. Must be like it must be awesome to be able to sit at one of these like corner restaurants the weekend of the Grand Prix, just have lunch and watch the cars go by. Like if they're allowed to remain open. I thought this way about Monaco for the longest time. There's actually footage if you watch the old ones, like in the 50s and the 60s, of like a lot of just basically waiters. Come in this lap, please. Box this lap outside with the phone cord stretched as far as it could I like sit standing right outside the, the entrance to the restaurant and they're talking on the phone almost shouting as the cars are going by and you know they're giving a race update to somebody else like somebody's on the end of that line going yo what's happening in the race let me know you know so we have ran these tires almost to their oblivion 70 percent is puncture territory and we ran the we ran the rear right to 80 so i mean look at the grain on the tire it's so shot and that one's at what 78 79 look at that grain that one is awful that is we really ran the limit of these tires out Yeah, they're they're worn. They're they're beyond. They're foobar. I mean, yeah, recommended usable life with the tire is seven is seventeen laps, and we ran them out. So they're gone. So, so far, now, our first lap is a one minute forty five point four. We're gonna go for. We're just gonna replace every component we can. And we're also going to replace the event gearbox. Five minutes remaining in the session. So component replacement will take literally an hour 27. Um, or two hour 27. <coughs> we only have five minutes left in the session. So... We're going to take all the engine penalties we want. We finished P21 right now, by the way. We're in P21. Mazepin on the soft was quicker. That's uh, says a lot. Well, there you go. Get up towards prestige level two. I'd like to get to prestige level two before Tuesday. It's time to remind ourselves of our top three. We've got four Luar, weeks left. Bottas, Hamilton, and Max Verstappen. And that's it. Practice is officially over. Until next time, goodbye. 
So Bottas, Hamilton, Verstappen get the top three. It's the two Mercedes, and then the Red Bulls are separated by Ricardo in fourth. And, of course, you've got, uh, well, everybody else down the rest of the field. Eilat finished 18th, by the way, splitting the Haases in 17th and 19th. Uh, we, he's been improving as the season goes along, it has to be Good said. Good day today. Let's have your take on it. Good day, bitch. It looks like oh, you've what invested the heavily in the development of new parts. Um, um, we're going to go with the arrow department since I think they need the morale. You really put a lot of effort into <clears throat> practice today. Are you testing new components? And then we're going to try to powertrain. That's a lot. Appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Norris. He just went by. Hey, Norris. <clears throat> so. All right. Well, it looks like we've got a lot of uh, grid penalties. <laughs> Uh, durability is the low morality department, so we need to up the durability department next time we can. We're going to go to quick practice for P3, and we are going to try to get this shit done. So optimal fuel usage. Let's go for qualifying pace. 100% uh, success. Yes, thank you. Done. Okay. Now, uh... Let's go back here and go for optimal fuse. It's come on, baby. Got it. Good. Okay. So now qualifying pace. Uh, 70%. Come on. Good. Nice. Another 70%. Ooh. Ooh, I see what they're doing, but we're going to go for it. Nice. Okay. Perfect. So now 70 Nice. We, that leaves us with, I think, one development boost left. That's this guy. Okay, failed. We got to do it again. Nice. We got it done. So that's everything, actually. That is all the practice programs done. So we just squeezed it into P3 that time. So very nice. Very nice. We got it all done. So we got all the development boosts. We get all the resource points. You can see 860 between Kalamila and ourselves. It puts us up to 1321. That's a good amount of resource points. And not, not only that, but we got all the development boosts. So these parts are going to be significantly cheaper now to try and develop. You can see 24% off the uh, gearbox reliability testing. The CE I'm a little worried about because... Uh, a CE that wears, oh sorry, a CE that wears, it tends to, uh, or is wearing, it tends to increase the wear on all the other components. <laughs> so, <clears throat> you, uh, you definitely want to make sure you stay on top of the CE at least. Team McLean, we're getting there. Uh, I'm, we're almost level five ourselves. The team is, you know, Moving forward to, to level 8. I think it's level 10 we get another sponsor. So, on to qualifying now. Baku City Circuit. Don't get lost and don't get caught out in the castle section. Yeah, it's, it's difficult. One of the difficulties about it is just have the runoff, so make sure you keep your eyes focused on your breaking points. Yeah, it can be tricky. But let's go over to uh, our basically our research screen. And uh, let's start getting some more research going on these parts. So the cylinder head's a major upgrade. Uh, Statters are minor. The reshaped combustion chamber is minor. I think we're going to go for the... I mean, this is a big upgrade up here. But these guys are done in 12 days and 10 days. So I think... Part of me wants to say we go for the cheaper one. And we just keep it like that, but... It'll be ready for France, this one. Ooh, it's not going to be ready until freaking Great Britain. So let's lower the cost on this one, since this one is going to take quite a while. Uh, 
I don't know. 37% failure rating too. Which is fine, but like... At the same time, we run the risk of if it fails, and then we have to wait another month. <clears throat> uh, we're really not gonna, we could really fall behind the powertrain department, I think. Because this guy's only gonna take two weeks, two and a half weeks. So, but it's not a big upgrade. It's a minor upgrade. This guy's a major upgrade. It unlocks pistons. He's on fuel efficiency. We get these from the manufacturer, so... I think we go for the cylinder head, actually. I think we just go for it. We just say, fuck it, and we go for it. <coughs> 30 days, and then I think we come back. If we get the research point between now and then we'll go for something in the durability department as the parts get cheaper I mean this is already 20 this is already a quarter discounted so this is already getting pretty discounted too it's only th already a third so you know I think that's what we go for but okay and of course we got the pending gearboxes so we're going to go to qualifying All right, qualifying. <clears throat> There's really no need for us to even go through this. So, I just think we retire. I don't even think we go out there and set a time. But we also could want to check our pace compared to the rest of the track, which is, I think, what we're going to do. So, Park Ferme, flying lap. We're going to take our grid penalties. You're going to see it pop up on the screen. Grid penalties. Brand new components give us the edge. It's at five place, but it's definitely not. It's definitely more than that. Here we go. Qualifying. By Jean Grand Prix, that we're going to start on the back of the grid in anyway. We clang the wall. Great start. Great start to call time. We really need to nail this lap. see what what kind of pace we have with the new components compared to the rest of the field twenty one races on three engine like three ICs three turbochargers unless you run nothing in practice it's pretty much impossible Even in my other save, my offline save, which durability, I think I have 23 of the 29 upgrades available on the car. I've had to take engine penalties like two to three times a season, at least in that first season. I'm in season two now, and so Lord knows what it will be. It will be, you know, it could just be once, but. Snapping just plants a 40.8. That is a quick lap, my friend. Hamilton, another 40.8 coming through. 
we are going to go 43.2. <clears throat> now the question is, compared to the rest of the grid, how quick is that 43.2? So far, our fastest lap is a 143.2. By two tenths, it's quicker than I lap by three. Giovinazzi's out qualified. Giovinazzi's got us by four tenths. Which means we have got to get back out there. Two point five laps of fuel, man, like nothing. We're gonna run with absolutely nothing. One point seven one laps of fuel. We're literally gonna have no nothing in the tank for this. There's only one lap of fuel remaining. There's only one lap I gotta put in, Jeff. We gotta see if we can beat Antonio Giovinazzi's time. That felt good. We're six tenths up. Not great. Not a great exit of turn 10, I think that is. But it's whatever. P13. And where is Giovinazzi? To view current strategy and race objectives, press slower. the MFD button we to open the multifunction display, and then press it again to cycle Open. through till you reach the strategy Giovinazzi, and objective screen. Latifi, Eilat, and Mazepin. Will it stay is the question. They're out on their hot lap now. And we are 16th. Did I see P16? Which I think P16 is enough to get into Q2. Did we do it? Is the question. Did we out qualify Giovinazzi? Montas is fastest. Here's who's eliminated. We are into Q2. Giovinazzi. I have a 65 place grid penalty, by the way. Uh, oh, I have seven 65 place grid penalties, I think. Uh, or no, I have, I'm sorry, seven. I have 65 place grid penalty. So Giovinazzi is still quicker than us. But we are into Q2. Out in Q1, Latifi is 22nd. 21st is Mazepin. Russell 20th. Eilat, our teammate, qualifies P19. Schumacher 18. Raikkonen in 17. We are P16. So we are through to quality 2. <clears throat> Which means we really need to push. We have one set of fresh tires to do this on. One set. One set. So we're going to put just the 2.5 on the car. We're going to wait out. We're going to go out there with about three minutes left. Five minutes left? No, five minutes left. Squeeze. With the 
objective of beating the old Nazis time. That is the objective. Big frame drop there. Let's try it over again. Ah, oh, I've clipped the wall that time. Ay, ay, ay. Attempt number three. I, I got it good. Like, this is perfect. But I didn't shift well enough. And I didn't hit DRS quick enough. That's all that rewind was for. Lap. I don't think, I think we're going to really struggle. Because here's the thing, Riken and we are quicker than, right? He's already out, I believe. But Giovinazzi just has the pace that we don't have. We have just put in a faster lap than him, though. Can we hold on? Can we hold on is the question. Is that lap good enough to hold on? He's on his out lap. We, oh, I didn't even get to see it. The timer's up already. <clears throat> Did we out-qualify our rival? Did we out-qualify our rival? And grab a point back from him in this rivalry. We're 15 and 16th. Who's ahead? We out-qualified him by 5 tenths. So we did get the job done. We would have qualified P15, which is what, probably our best qualification. I didn't believe it's our best qualifying spot of the season. But with the grid penalties, obviously, we're going to drop behind. So, at least we gained one back from him. That's the big thing. We got one back. We're only three points back from him now. With four races left. That includes this one, obviously. Gets our claim almost up to level five. <clears throat> and, yeah. Mm, pretty good team coming along well it's race time um uh, we're i'm hella early by the way because my timer still says a, 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 a minute 46 so my, my timer says a minute 46 still or an hour 46 still so we are hella early so we could do the race 
<clears throat> but I don't think so. Unfortunately, to. we've picked up some grid penalties, and we'll be starting further back than you expect. As for how bad it is, that'll depend on what the other drivers get. Okay, nice. So the R&D, the teams are happy with the R&D, <clears throat> or with the development up update. And yeah, we have a 51 lap race ahead of us, so. We'll see how we do in it. We are definitely starting on the back of the grid, I know that. Uh, but we are looking <coughs> maybe to climb ahead of Giovinazzi in the standing, so. Here's the season, 13th, 13th, 17th, and 20th. We really jacked up the strategy in Spain. And Monaco, we were just very slow at. 20th, 18th, 19th, 18th. So Eilat's coming along. <clears throat> but, yeah, not great. Not great. Championship's pretty tight. Is what it is, though. That is... We're looking pretty good for the car. <clears throat> and I think the R&D is looking fine as well. Yeah, it looks pretty good. So that is going to do it for me. I know we supposed to have an hour and a half left, but... <clears throat> um, I'm not going to try to force the race into it because then we run over and then we don't get enough sleep for the tomorrows and uh, to, for work tomorrow and things like that. So uh, we're going to cut it here. Uh, we'll be back with the race, the Azerbaijan race. We'll be back with tomorrow night or on Friday. I'm sorry, tomorrow night or on Saturday, I should say. One of the two. And then after we're done that, we will come back with the round six of the Formula 2 championship from Silverstone in Great Britain. Absolutely fantastic track that we lead at. And uh, at some point, in, I'll try to squeeze in my race but uh, in the offline career mode. But, uh, you know, <clears throat> I think that's going to be it from me. So thank you so much to everybody that showed up to watch. And uh, we will see you. Uh, hopefully back here tomorrow night or Sunday. But big thanks to El Elnor Leclerc for her um, follow. And big thanks to uh, whom else? I mean, there's just plenty of people to thank. Big thanks to Foxon who came by. Big thanks to Humble Lift that came by as well. Uh, appreciate y'all being here. And yeah, we'll, we'll see you probably tomorrow night or Saturday. One of the two. Till then. Uh, take care, and we'll see you soon.